Hello YouTube, this is another Rob tutorial on FL Studio. I had a very good question coming through my YouTube account. Um, it was on VSTs. and The question was, how do you add VSTs to FL Studio? Well, it's very simple, but you have to know the directories. So, just to start, I'm going to open up my local disk, and I'm going to right-click Explore. I'm going to go to Program Files. Then we're going to open up Image Line. Then we're going to go to FL Studio 9. Some of you also have 8 or 7. And very unlikely, but possible to have 6 still. And then we're going to go to Plugins. And then VST. And we're just going to open this up so that way it opens up over here on the right. And we're going to close this left window out. And this is where you're going to take your your folder let's just create a new one new folder over here um you're going to what you're going to do is you're just going to take the file folder that looks like this or maybe it comes in an actual folder and or sometimes they actually even have an installer which will install it into this spot for you and other places that it needs to be but what you're going to do is basically take this folder and just drop it in there and then, then I'm going to delete this real quick then what you're going to do is open up FL Studio and you need to up re, you need to refresh your browser and the way to do that is to go to channels add one more and hit refresh fast scan. Now I've already done a, fa uh, a fast scan earlier and I had actually a couple that I wasn't aware of like direct wave. Direct wave wasn't clicked so go I'm going to go ahead and click direct wave and I'm going to open up Rex shared library and the Citrus VSTi and then I'm going to go ahead and refresh again and there are no more VS VSTs for once you've done that, you should be able to open up your VSTs. You should be able to find them. You may need to close out FL Studio and open it again, just like I showed you in the templates. Um, I'm going to do a second version of the templates to show you a couple more things that you can do with the templates, but that will be in another video. Now, there is one more thing. Uh, I've had a friend. I've uploaded some v VSTs for him and he decided to go through and take him out but I ended up showing him how to do it and he ended up just going in and deleting it you don't want to do that and unfortunately my friend dearly paid the price because these VSTs are registered in your registry and they need to be added and removed properly and the way to do that is let me close out of this the way to do that is to go to your control panel and go to add remove programs and it'll take a moment for this list to populate okay we're back so in here is going to be the list of everything that you have loaded onto your computer now what you're going to want to do is just kind of sort, go through it one by one and just look for the plugin or the VST that you want to remove. And what you're going to want to do is, ch is click the remove button once you find it. Like Ohm Force Fromage VST2. That's one of the, one of the ones that I have. Um, I'm kind of happy with it so I don't want to remove it. But once you're done removed it, what you're going to want to do is restart your computer to make sure it boots properly and you should be fine from there. Fortunately my friend, his computer it won't it won't open up Windows. Uh, it'll stay in a DOS and it'll say that it's missing the DLL file which is the file that he removed from that, his VST folder and it's really unfortunate because now he has to go buy another hard drive 
Find another copy of Windows XP preferably. I hate to see him get stuck with X, uh, with Vista or the new supposedly better, improved, more improved 7. But, yep, that's how you do it. This has been a Rob tutorial. I can't stress anymore. Don't download the cracks. I provided a 10% discount on all of my videos for Fruity Loops.